Alright, howdy howdy everybody. Starting up a new game on uh, Steam here. Played it a little bit yesterday, didn't get too far. Trying this whole streaming thing out, I got a couple ideas to bounce around. Don't know how this is going to work. So, I have this massive Steam library. 400 plus games. I don't think I've played maybe 10% of these games. A lot of them, I have no idea what they are. So I'm going to go through, do some actual gameplay footage, try these games out, see what they are. I, I think I'll find some stuff that I can enjoy, but that's my idea. I'm not good at the streaming, not familiar with the streaming, I should say. Never really done anything like this. It's kind of a free time thing. Got you standard job, I work every day, family at home. Not sure what kind of time I'm going to be able to dive into this, but uh, hopefully someone somewhere will get a little enjoyment out of it. So, here we go. I'm going to start up Steam. This game is a 1993 uh, Space Machine, as it's listed on Steam. And uh, looking at it a little bit today, it apparently came out in 93. Or, I'm sorry, it was finished in 93, and then it got misplaced, lost, something, that it didn't get published until 2016. So, um, I am new to this uh OBS that I'm using here, so going to be kind of playing with the settings, stuff of that nature. I'll have to review this video once everything's said and done, see how this works out, see what goes on. Um, I did, like I said, I did try this yesterday. I'll tell you right now, it is made for an old console. The controls on the keyboard are very rough. Basically, spacebar handles a lot of the. Uh, the entering and submitting stuff and then you have the arrow keys that controls your movement so we I just started this game earlier and failed to stream so I didn't really do anything um, interesting enough it seems like I could go ahead and choose any world it doesn't seem like there's a lock on those I don't want to jump ahead though I'm going to start with the one that it initially highlighted there for us so let's see what we got here. And uh, I already bought a ship. It does, interestingly enough, give you a bunch of different ships to choose from. But peer the description, they're all exactly the same. There's three at the bottom that cost a lot more money than you start with. The initial money you start with is about 600 gold coins by the looks of it. Um, you buy a ship for 600 and there's three at the bottom that cost like 2500 um, I'm not sure how you're supposed to... Uh, at the beginning of the game anyway be able to afford those maybe it's just something to look forward to in the as the game progresses alright so like I said we got the arrow keys spacebar for the shooting just your old standard side scroller game gladius R top I think it, it mentions uh, you know similar games Gladius was a very fun game I do uh, miss that one so this is supposed to be a little introduction on myself as well I've been playing a lot of games growing up um, I've seen Nintendo uh, really heavy into the original Nintendo before that you know there was the uh, in television my brother I was lucky enough to see he had a uh, Commodore 64. I, I was too young to really have any hands-on time with that. Um, like I said, the Intellivision game had little cartridges and these uh, basically credit card looking things that would identify the buttons that you slid down over the buttons in the controller to identify those buttons for that particular game. They were... Uh, it was uh, looked like a phone cord going to the controllers and the buttons was a numeric keypad, you know, one through nine, um, with a uh, circular knob. I should mention this uh, gold that I'm getting, or these uh, diamond shapes, is currency in the game and will be used in between matches. The shield is rechargeable. The weird thing is, the, the, the best I could tell yesterday is uh, I don't really have a life count. I got to a spot that was fairly difficult, and then I started just trying to fail to see 
if it would give me like a game over screen and I never really got that so I'm not sure if it's where I was at or if it's just the way the game was programmed but anyway like I say I do a, did a lot of gaming in the 90s up through 2000s of course um, first PC I got about 98 really eh, maybe 96 Command and Conquer loved it really got me into it wanting the first PC game the, the, the abilities the number of troops on screen compared to what you see on the uh, uh, Nintendo at the time and other game systems Buddy actually got me in that. One of the uh, first online games I really played, though it was on dial-up internet, was a, uh, I think it was called Hexonix. It was a multi-user dungeon. Oh, there we go. Already failed once. Alright, i got to get the timing down on this here. Kill the little guys. stop talking and actually pay attention maybe Talking about a uh, muds, multi-user dungeons, just all word text, computer games. You know, get to play with other people. It was had such a blast with those. I really wish somebody had one of those that was pure verbal, where you could play during like a commute in a car. Just basically have a conversation with your phone. It would read out the descriptions of the rooms. I've really thought this out way too much. Where you could make a very decent game. You go into a room, it gives you the full description. Um, like I say, anybody familiar with the MUDs, uh, I think it would be a great idea to have one of those on your phone. Of course, you'd have to do the blacked out screen with the, the hands-free laws and stuff of that nature we have nowadays. Um, there'd be some shortcuts, some kinks to work out. You know, I say if you go in a room once, you hear the description, it gives you an abbreviation of the room after you go in it from that point on, but you can always request to see the full description again. Um, but uh, that would be something that I think a lot of people would be interested in um, during that time period that experienced those games. Uh, up until recently, I just realized, I believe it was uh, the Mud Connector. I did not realize that it had actually it does not seem to be there anymore so uh, I just found that out a couple days ago kind of browsing around thinking about that but anyway uh, let's see so first area shot accuracy cash pickups deaths score one out of 15 areas clear now I don't know if that's just on this planet if so this is actually a fairly large game um, especially if it, for one in uh, 93 I would say compared to some of the other stuff at the time so let's see what we got here. So yesterday I got to the second map. The gun I decided to purchase really was not set up. You got uh, stuff shooting from the ground, and I was uh, getting in a rush. It, of course, just kind of failed miserably. And then I started playing with it and had to bail on it. So I'm trying to redo this today. This is my first time streaming. You'll see I keep looking over at my screen so I don't have everything set up. Like I say, this is a hobby. This isn't a profession. So it is what it is. We'll see how everything goes. So I've got 2,000 gold. Some of these I cannot afford, obviously. They are. Fires drones to engage. You know what? We're going to go with that. Maybe it can get access to some of the enemies that I was unable to get access to. Um, arrow key, space bar. Um, there was a point in the game where it said I could rotate my shield. I haven't really played with it. I don't know. I haven't been in a situation yet where it would be greatly beneficial. Not sure how fast it would rotate, but I'm not sure I'd have the hand-eye coordination to actually make that useful to me. 
So let's see if we can move on down the road, down to 225. I'm not sure there's a ready for some weapon or some upgrades. Let's just keep the cash and move on. I'm going to assume the cash rolls over. Looks like the secondary gun fires automatically, if you notice here. So I got some uh, enemies on the ground. It looks like the drones are going in for attack. They are not doing much damage, though. And I got a rock in there. Oh, big guy, let's see. I definitely want to get that cash. The uh, shield, by the way, does seem to regenerate. Um, these glass bubbles, I noticed, like here, if I would have not have destroyed that, it would launch a missile out of that tube directly under me right there. But anyway... And I'm falling behind here, keeping the clean screen. That's not good. Alright, so these little seekers are assisting and attacking some of this stuff. It's like I got some... What is that? I don't know. Did I drop a bomb? That was... That hurt. Okay. Let's get up here, get this guy took care of. Alright, here we go. These guys are going to start getting... definitely need to upgrade these homing things uh, but they do do a good job accessing some of these guns that I could not get on with a straight shooter and I'm not sure there's vertical shooters you can get but I'm really not sure that they would assist me much here without putting myself in danger does not look like I'm going to be able to get that Ha! Uh -huh. Alright, so whatever that was is opening me up to the shop. Oh, upgrade or get a new weapon. Upgrade's 1800, sell for 900. Let's check for a different weapon here. Hiding enemies, more powerful. Covers more space, pure upgrade. Railgun, straight, straight, straight. I'm not sure straight is going to be the way. Unloader. Classic bombs. Warp magma packets. Clones on impact. More clones for each of Mega Blast, nothing I can really do with these. They're excessively expensive, probably well overpowered, but that would be welcome. Vertical, perfect for blasting those hard to get areas. More powerful pair upgrade. So we have Crossfire and Vertical. I think I want to go with Vertical. It being a little bit more expensive tells me it might be a little bit more useful. Let's see what happens here. Alright, so it looks like I'm just finishing right back up where I left off here. Uh, going for the thinner lines, and it doesn't seem to be hurting me. I'm not sure if it's a puzzle or. Try to get that money. My 
shields are taking a beating. And I'm not helping. Alright, so the vertical saved me this then. My shield might have been able to tank it, but not 100% sure. Is that ah the missile? That was not that was not easy. What we got here? Gonna have to focus if I'm gonna survive. I'm not sure what those do. I honestly don't know. Maybe recharges the shield. Maybe. I'm really not sure if there's any rhyme or reason. To an order that you destroy these in. Thank goodness for the shield. Now I do believe I can upgrade my ship as well, but I don't know if that means an automatic upgrade to my shield. Checkpoint. I can tell you I've made it further than I did yesterday, and if I'm not careful, I'm going to die. Sentinel warning. I don't care about the test, he just cares about firepower. Alright, let's see what happens here. That's not good. Sporadic shooting, they do seem to be well spaced. An angular missile that throws you off a little bit. Don't know what that is. But I probably don't want to touch them. I do not seem. Get to try that again. So don't touch the bouncy things, but uh, a bullet pretty much took me out. And honestly, I can't remember if I had a shield or not available. So if I had a shield available and that one bullet took me out, this could be a little difficult here. Looks like the missile comes from my location once it's fired. Okay. Should I have shot that thing? What's going on here? I don't seem to be hurting the one. I guess I am in a roundabout way. Something's happening. Oh! Mm, maybe I get to keep that gold? I honestly didn't see if that went up or not. I'll have to check that in the video. If I can figure out how to get this thing to uh, save the video, that is. Probably doing all this and it'll have nothing. So, I don't know. Anyway, back to it. Really not thinking about this. Now I just want to make a uh, multi-user dungeon using uh, cell phones and 5G. So I can play Dungeons and Dragons basically on my way home from work every day. Don't judge me. Let's see, can I? Nope, I can't shoot that. Okay, so I just need to shoot this one. Let's. Level cleared.
died twice, shot accuracy went down, cash pickups, three out of 15 areas cleared. So we had one area, and then I'm assuming one area was up to the checkpoint, and the checkpoint beyond was another area. I'm assuming. So, no. I'm going to assume that was the end of the... Okay, so the whole game would be 15 areas. Let's go ahead and move on forward. See what we can afford for a ship upgrade. It's disappointing. I was expecting to have more cash. Um, let's try to... Upgrade the ship. Can I upgrade it again? Upgrades another 600. Upgraded level 3. No idea what that does. Let's, uh, we talked about upgrading this. I do not have enough to upgrade. That's right, we looked at that. So, let's cancel. Keep with our setup and continue. Let's see what we got here. Genebo. I can hear some makeshift talking when that guy's talking. Alright. That was painful. Oh, meter, meteors. Okay, that's interesting. Back and forth motion. Crystals on the bottom. Does not look like I can shoot through them. And that did hurt a little bit. It's kind of a funky angle here I'm having to work with. What do we got here? Let's just do a little back and forth. Clear the screen. At least the meteor stop. Get the money. Try to get the money. Apparently, it is expensive to upgrade. That was a good one. I feel like I'm trying to play Snake and I can't hit the timing just right on these movements. Yeah, let's just run right into the bullet. That always helps. And let's run into another one. There's a point in these games where you just kind of get burnt out of the repetitive action and. Uh, Think your hands stop uh, cooperating. Of course, my hands go numb even holding an Xbox controller now, so at least I should be thankful I still have filling in my fingertips, I guess. Ooh, got some gold. What is this, 50? Oh, or is that 75? We're getting some money. Okay, whoop. And I got a lot of stuff going on the screen I've not been paying attention to. Oh, thank goodness for the shield. I'm assuming the hits I took and the shield damage that the ship upgrade did actually do something. Maybe. Not helping me. Uh, may have spoke a little too soon there. Big Potato. <laughs> is meaner than he looks. So likes to upgrade his little flying rock with interesting uh, gadgets. Beware of turbocharged front cannon. Is this going to be repetitive from the uh, first boss? That is not repetitive, and that definitely looks like a potato. And he is not linear. He is all over the place. Okay, I'm down in shield. I may be getting to try this one again, guys. That I assume that's a Gatling gun. That was nice. Sentinel warning. Is this big potato again? They could have at least left the asteroids out on this. Watch the Gatlin gun. Don't stay in front of them very long. Wonder which directions he can shoot the Gatlin gun. Just straight ahead, okay. Well, did I take a chunk out of the potato? 
fried potato. Yes, that can be cheesy. Or cheesy potatoes. And, alright, we got some money. 2700 What are we going at here? Um, it shows live's been going for about 25 minutes here. Let's keep it rolling. Four out of 15 areas. Shot accuracy is way down. I'm thinking possibly the vertical guns is creating that. I'm not 100% sure. Cash, pickups, death, score. Let's roll. Let's... Ready for some weapon or upgrades? Remember that you can upgrade your ship too. So I'm just going to quickly look at the gravity well, converter, grabs enemy shots and spits them back at them. Interesting. Mega Blast is interesting as well, but for at 10,000, yeah, it's not going to happen. Alright, so let's go up here and do what we talked about. Upgrade. Let's go ahead and check this one. What is this thing? This thing takes 1400 to upgrade. Another upgrade on this is another. Alright, so let's go back and see. Alright, we're done with the ship. We cannot upgrade any further. And like I say, we can always. Strong and powerful, but not as fast. Class 2 ship. Medium speed and a shield. I, I wonder if these guys. I mean, I'm going to assume they're all. If they can all have only a couple of weapons, I'm not sure what the difference would be. Anyway, let's continue here. Geneva Forest. Steady control of your fighter here, especially when passing through the huge tree trunks. Those tech pillars that hide inside can be. Alright, pay attention. Stop reading. Okay. Now they're shooting at me. Wonderful. And the tree trunk blocks my shots. What is the green stuff? Bombs? Can I get the money, please? Thank you. Alright guys, I'm going to be honest, this doesn't feel like I'm putting that much skill into it. It feels like um, everything's just kind of killing itself and I'm doing my best to dodge. Does that make sense? I really believe the little bit of homing I'm getting out of that bottom guy has been a tremendous help. On some of the uh, more hidden enemies that are down low and stuff, I'm not sure if this would have been as easy trying to pass over those guys and not being able to kill them. And I gotta stop running into that. Gold! What is that? Did not seem to recharge my shield. I might be surprised what I learn if I uh, go back and watch the video. Once again, if it records. Oh, great. Now I feel like I'm uh, Mario waiting to be crushed here. Oh, that's painful. Not 100% sure I saw a way out of that. Maybe make sure you're ahead of it before it closes the first time or maybe I just didn't hold back quite long enough
kind of reminded me of that uh, Redfall game where you see the guys run up to the enemies and they just don't move and the enemies can't hit them. You know, the AAA title game that just come out that everybody's raving about. They either hate it or love it. But the majority of the reviews are about how broken it is because the uh, enemy AI. This last little bit, I'm kind of feeling that. And here I am looking at that when I'm probably supposed to be looking at that. But I'll figure that out one of these years. I promise. i got to move. All right, so this is kind of where I got hosed up, and I'm not sure it's because I f waited too long or not long enough. If I was being too cautious and held myself back too much, well, by that part. Uh, may not be. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. All right. Oh, get out of there. Thank goodness for the vertical guns. I think the vertical guns and the uh, little automatic guidance things is. Uh, I can't foresee anything else being as useful as that combination at this time. Maybe the uh, ones that shot at an angle at a Y. But overall, good little game. Be fun for kids. Um, a lot of these games that I accumulated, I mean, I bought a lot of stuff over the years. Um, traded games, this and that. Uh, I've also, ooh, I got a shop. I got 3700 absolutely. Um, Humble Bundle, if you're familiar with that. Great little website. Donations go to creators, stuff of that nature, all these little charities. It's a, it's a fantastic website. If you're not familiar with it, you should check it out especially if you like games, uh, specifically indie games. They do have some fantastic titles on there as well, some of the AAA stuff. Um, but anyway, in your own free time. All right, I wonder. So I cannot upgrade anymore. So it looks like three upgrades for everything is going to be the max. So... Why not? Let's go ahead and upgrade. Continue. Let's see what we got. The guns are definitely shooting faster. Um, the little homing buddies are moving tremendously faster. And there I go, wasting my shield. Come on, put the bullets through there. I don't know if I can go around that. Woo! Hello, gold. What does that do? Uh, that's just a bunch of gold. Okay, that's great. Cool. All right. Me just holding down the button is probably not going to help my accuracy at all. But then again, I'm not even 100% sure how they are rating me on accuracy. I'm pretty positive I've uh, missed more shots than I've hit. I think this is gold. Yes, gold. Okay. Hey. What is all the bullets here? What's going on? Is that me? Oh, that's my little dude shooting at things. Duh. Oh, man. I missed a lot of gold there. Not paying attention. Well. So the gold is definitely coming a lot faster than it did... Uh, those first few missions. To the point where I'm missing a little here and there, which is fine. Okay. What is that? Aliens! Go get them, little dudes. Whoa, okay. Yeah, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Just wanted to take a look at them, and that might have been not been the right route there. Okay. Alright, let's... Is this one going to be shaped like a potato? 
What do we got? The Battle Worm is Nestor's niece's giant pet, which suffers from hideous mutation. You would be wise to stay away, but if you really must have a look to destroy the infected nest, since it smells really, really bad. Because we all know, sealed in a spaceship, you can smell. Hatch your eggs on me. Whoa, hey. That was unexpected. Getting flashbacks from that uh, worm and uh, Torio on that one there. Six out of 15 areas cleared. Shot accuracy is 39.2%. Some way, somehow. Deaths, one. Geneva Forest. Six out of 15 areas. Did that finish a planet? It did finish a planet. Disturbing creatures gather a mass as you approach the dark and fast forest. This is a perfect example of what the Shenandoah is capable of when used maliciously. Completed. Completed. We are at 3641. I am at 830. So I think on that note, I'm going to take a break. Um, family should be coming back home here in a moment. Spend some time with them and give this a go another day uh, pretty great little game like I say if it was created in 93 I need to do a little research I don't know the creators but shout out uh, if this would have come out in 93 it would have been a great little game um, now the controls are a little lanky because I'm sure it was uh, created for like an NES or some kind of console system um, but yeah overall it's a great little game and I may be totally inaccurate in a lot of my information a lot of this is just assumption so anyway guys I really appreciate it going down my steam list and try another one of these videos so you may see some funky stuff here for a moment because I got to switch over here to OBS and try to complete this stream without losing it let's see what I can do thank you You know what? I was not recording. <laughs>